They were broadcasting live from the, the National Catholic Youth Conference on Friday night. This was back in November. And they were inviting the youth. These are th you know, thousands of youth from all over the country gathering to celebrate our faith. You know, those great moments, kind of like coming together tonight. Other people in faith that are trying to do what I'm doing, you know, and it's great to come together. We're not alone. This isn't a call to isolation and individual relationship with Christ, but we come together as the body of Christ to strengthen each other, to support each other, to love each other, to push each other. And so here they are, thousands of young people, and I think it was in Indianapolis, and uh, they're doing Lectio Divina, a prayer experience that evening. And they, they, they proclaim very powerfully the gospel we heard tonight. And then a song came on, or they, they performed. And I, at first I was like, okay, the, Father Mike, do you flip the station? You know, do you go back to the old 60s station there? A song by the Beatles. Let it be. I started listening to the song. I'm like, well, that's interesting. You know, okay, yeah, engage the youth. That's a bit of a stretch maybe, right? But, and then I started listening to the words. You know, as Mary, Mother, Mother Mary comes to me, I hear her words of wisdom. Let it be. And I, I have to say, I sat there, and I really, at the time, didn't know the origins of the words, and I, I was really shocked. I, I was saying to myself, you know, was this always been a Catholic, you know? Has this always been a Catholic Christian song and I missed it? Didn't give the Beatles enough credit, right, you know? As I listened to it more, you know, talking about let it be, let it be done to me according to that word, the first three words of Mary's fiat, you know, reminding us of the word amen, so be it, this affirmation, this act of the will. And so I let that song kind of take me to a different place and reflecting on Mary, and the Annunciation story we heard tonight. I went, out, went on to find out later that, in fact, it was not written about, you know, the Blessed Mother. It was actually Paul McCartney's mother, Mary. You, ever, you heard the story, maybe? They were actually towards the end of the, the Beatles' reign, maybe you would call it, and they were kind of struggling and on the, almost wrapping things up and going through a lot of turmoil and all this, and apparently Paul was really stressed or whatever. And in this, the midst of this, he had a dream one night of his mother, Mary, and that phrase, let it be. And his interpretation was, okay, relax, let it, let it go. But the beauty of our Christian faith and what our church has always done is this called enculturation, to find things in our culture that scratch the surface of truth, but then to see it through the, line, the lens of Jesus Christ. And so the more I, I heard that song that night, I said, you know what? That's great. That's an appropriate song. And then, you know, I, I actually, a week later, my spiritual director was challenging me to have a, a, a word, as he was saying, a phrase that, that I could use every day to refocus and to, to really try to be aware of being in the presence of God. And so I was thinking more about it and just let it be kept coming back to me. Let it be. But not a let it be that ends in my, you know, my mom, Mary Ann, as great as she is, or the different ways that, got, you know, that maybe we get support in this life, but knowing they're temporary, they're not complete. But letting that phrase be completed in Mary and knowing who it's a surrender to. Not just let it be, oh, let things go, go with the flow, don't worry, be happy, right? You know, um, speaking words of wisdom. But a let it be that actively says, I give my life to you, Lord. I surrender to you. Let it be done to me according to your word. It's not just a passive wishy washy statement, it's an active, aggressive, in the best sense of the word surrender and so in a moment I'm actually going to invite you to listen to that song let it be but to listen to it in that context to let it be a source of allowing Mary Mother Mary, our blessed Mother Mary to inspire you, to encourage you to know she lovingly prays with you and for you so that maybe tonight, more fully than ever, you can truly surrender your, your life, your will to God. And to let her strengthen you in doing that. 
And so instead of doing our normal prayers, we've been doing the repeat prayer as a way of commitment. We're going to let this song be our prayer tonight as a way, once again, to actively surrender our wills to God's light, His will in our life, and to trust Him, to believe He has our best interest in mind, and He's worth surrendering our lives to because He loves us and He knows what we need. And so tonight and this week, my challenge to you is just to let it be. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Shine on till tomorrow, let it be. I wake up to the sound of music, Mother Mary comes to me. In words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be.